Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video you'll learn about credit packs and how to create these on your dashboard. So let's get started. First let's navigate to the manage tab and then to the membership memberships tab and click on the blue add button. Your create a new membership slide out will appear. In our last video you learned in great detail about the details tab so we won't spend too much time on it now. I will instead just quickly write the name and the description. Please note that you must keep within the character limit. Next, I'm going to click on the plans button and click on the plus sign to create my plan. In this example, we're going to set up two plans, one with 10 credits and one with 20 credits and we'll create each as a separate plan within the one umbrella membership of the class packs. So first I'm going to name my plan. I'm going to click on the service credits pack type and put in the price. Then I'm going to add credits. The default credits that appear will be 10 credits valid for any class and these credits will expire in one month. You can change any of this information by clicking on the edit button. So let's do that now. If you needed to change the number of credits that your members will receive with the credit pack, you can click on the plus or minus sign. If you're going to be creating credit packs that will be valid for PT one-to-one -one appointments. You will choose the appointments option here. Or for those of you that are renting out your facilities and selling credit packs to enable your members to book the facility with credits, you can choose on the facilities option. Please note that you cannot create a credit pack for courses. One more thing to note as well, one credit is used per booking. You can then choose for which classes or group of classes these credits are valid for. So you can choose all classes, you can choose one category, or the different classes that you've created. For this example, I want these credits to be valid for yoga classes. So any class that has the yoga category, these credits will be valid for. Then you can toggle on or off the expiration. I will keep the expiration for my 10 pack to three months. There's one more advanced feature for credit packs. You can choose whether or not you want them to be valid from the date of purchase or from the date of booking. If you choose from the date of purchase, the, the three-month clock starts at the time I make the purchase. However, if you choose date of first booking, the clock of the three months starts ticking only when I make my first booking. So I can buy this today and not use the credit pack for another six months. And then my three months will start then when I make that first booking. So. I still need to add the 20 pack, so I'm going to click on the plus sign, choose the name to be 20 pack, choose the service credit pack type. I'm going to keep my option to be date of purchase, because I think three months is more than enough time for my members to use the 10 credits, put in the price, add credits, click on the edit button. I'm going to click the plus sign until I get to 20. I'm going to put in my yoga category and I'm going to change the expiration for the 20 pack to be six months. I'm going to click on save and now my class packs have been created. So hopefully now you've learned how to set up your credit pack memberships. In our next video, we will learn about single payment memberships and how to set these up. We'll see you there.